What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ansel Armstrong, back again. And today, during the SDS live stream for the fourth inning program, they announced us that packs in the market, show packs are going to be 50% off for the next week. You already know that's going to have major impacts across the marketplace for a ton of cards. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick, break it down. I know it's not a Monday, but we still have a lot to talk about with the market. Let's break down what's happening in the market right now how you should be moving and using your stubs to make more stubs during this time of the market going pretty wild so when we're sitting here in diamond dynasty now and then for the next week as well it's just seven days long so understand that it's not going to be forever that's going to definitely impact things if we go on over here to our packs if we go to buy packs we can see all of these packs are now 50 percent off so one pack is going to be 750 stubs in packs 7500 stubs 20 packs 15,000 subs and 50 packs just 37,000 subs with your bond as avid pack as well so great value in these packs like if you're a guy who enjoys opening packs now it's probably one of the best times to do it with 37,500 stubs through 50 packs plus the volume pack that's not bad value to be recouped you can recoup that relatively easily especially as some guys that you pull get upgraded downgraded or their value increases after this pack sale ends as you can imagine though with the packs being on sale the market has been doing some crazy things and definitely been dropping the price especially for live series we'll come in here let's go to our marketplace look at our mlb players we'll filter it up just strictly by live series players you can see the Grom selling for 205k on the buy now. He had been around 240. Routes dropped about a hundred thousand stubs in price. All of these cards across the board have been dropping in price pretty significantly right now. Take a look at a mid-tier guy like a Byron Buxton buy now of 6,600. Had been 10k, 10 and a half k, almost 11,000 stubs on the buy now. Now it's down to 6,600 stubs. Trevor Bauer, 6K. Hater, 8,500. When we come in here to the golds as well, we'll keep tabbing on over here. Even some golds, even guys that have a solid chance of getting upgraded. A Joe Musgrove, sell now 2,700. Freddie Peralta at 3,500 on the sell now. If you're investing in Freddie Peralta, you think he can go diamond, and you're able to get in this late at 3,500 subs, you're still making 1,500 subs her card if you were to go diamond if we're able to turn a 3500 sub investment on freddie peralta into 5k per card extrapolate that out based off how many you're doing that's a pretty solid return let's take a look at his marketplace where he had been he had been selling 3700 on the sell now almost 5k on the buy now and so you can see his prices dropped pretty significantly right out the gate almost a thousand stub drop on him uh for that buy now price down to around a 4100 you see other guys that got good possibilities. Well, I mean, a, a Jeff McNeil down to quick sell. The Oscar Hernandez at 3,300. Gallegos at 3,300. The market has really dropped a ton overall with these 50% off packs. So my recommendation, what I'm going to be doing is if you're targeting guys for the roster update and Ozzy Albies, George Springer, some of those guys you mentioned on the previous page, if you're targeting guys for this next roster update, the one that's coming in just a little over a week this next Friday, then now is going to be one of the absolute best times to do that. We have both content day released. That's putting packs into the market, free packs people are requiring, plus these 50% off packs are making cards crash. Even if you don't necessarily think some of these guys could get upgraded, someone like an Ozzy Albies, for example, let's take them. Let's say you're not high on him getting upgraded. I personally am, but let's say you're not. And you're buying them right now at 3700 well by next week when this when the pack sale goes away packs go back to normal price people stop ripping packs at the quantity that they currently are and his hype continues to grow for the roster update with how he's been crushing the ball this month that suddenly he's a 5,000 sub card as it is he doesn't even need to go diamond for you to sell him for 5,000 subs and make that immense profit same with essentially ever i mean just a random example here george sprinker selling for 2500 on the sell now had been closer to 3500 on the sell now he's dropped about a thousand subs in price so if you can come in pick them up now pack sell goes away card prices go back up boom you're ready to go another thing to consider team affinity three we don't know when we're getting it but it could be relatively soon right here around the corner could you be going through and picking up 84 golds at quick sell in the case of jeff mcneil could you be picking up 84 goals for relatively cheap to be able to hold those until team affinity 3 comes out 
exchange all those and get team affinity three done quicker maybe sell them as other people are buying them up for exchanges and the price goes up essentially a lot of opportunities to come in here with the market being so low and pick up these live series cards especially these high golds as long as they don't go down in overall as long as they haven't been struggling too too much these high golds i pretty much love all of them as a buy with their current value and where they're at and that's not even just live series goals either we come in here we take a look over here at tops now cards uh ryan mountcastle 6k on the sell now had been selling for north of 8k so he's dropped 2k stubs even more than that 2500 stubs same with cedric mullins he's down to 8400 had been just touching 12k down to 8400 these tops now for the month of june have crashed as well just the entire market has been coming down today and we're getting the player of the month program on wednesday that's not too far away these are a really good buy right here at this stub count to come in pick them up hold them until wednesday that's not a long hold hold them till wednesday when player of the month comes out people start buying them back up for the player of the month collection and their prices spike their prices probably naturally start recovering a little bit just after they've been crashing today they're naturally going to recover some but they're really going to spike even more come wednesday when that player of the month comes out i'm really loving these tops now buys right here these prices are actually kind of ridiculous cedric mullins at 6800 that's essentially a buy all day long even the new ones sano and urias at 6200 and 6100 are pretty relatively cheap in the grand scheme of things now of course as well i always get people asking me all the time when should i be picking up these high diamonds will they ever go down in price this is that moment if you're needing the grom trout acuna tatis garicole if you're needing those big guys if you need the big gatekeepers today is the day to pick them up if you have the subs they're not going to be going lower than this probably until we get another pack sell later on down the line we do have the 90 plus pack in this inning program but you already have people who are selling off in anticipation of that 90 plus pack so that's already driving down the 90 pluses as it is and it's going to take people time to get to that 90 plus pack pack sale will be gone by then we'll see some of these cards recover before people really start getting to those and the vast majority of people aren't going to get to that point i try dropping 100k subs in one day They're looking at a time to come pick him up I think now is that time to do that. I would recommend if you're going after collections, still the live series collections, you need these 90 plus guys. Now is a great day to come in and pick some of these bad boys up. So a bit of a quick video, but just wanted to come on and talk about the pack sell from the day. Cause I know there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of questions. If you have any other questions, be sure to hit me up down in the comment section below. Overall though, this pack sell massive dub in terms of making subs go out, invest in some live series, invest in some tops. So now maybe some guys you think are going to get upgraded. We'll finish up the chipper collection i think it's dropped like 25 percent in price already just since this morning so definitely a lot of dubs out there happening if you need to make stubs or spin your subs on some of these live series cards great day to go about and do that as always if you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe until next time i'll catch y'all around